Welcome to Crime Time News and Entertainment with a Buzz. The first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that maybe about 18, probably even 20 people get caught up unofficial. What is official, at least eight gone so far and a couple more battling for their lives. I am speaking about an incident that took place in a place called Church Tree Lane that is in four parts, four parts that is in Clarendon, where it is said that some people were at some sorts of birthday party when some men pull up in a some sorts of vehicle, them call it drive by. However, people, based on the injuries that I saw, and it was many, thanks to everybody that sent me these videos and pictures, I really appreciate it. You could see people laying on the floor in all sorts of position, upon them side, left side, right side, upon them back, upon them belly. Everybody in a pool of their own B-L-O-O-D. As a matter of fact, even in some of the pictures or videos, you could see people, them get knee, them get thigh, them get chest, them get head, them get the whole catalog of possibility of S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G. I also noticed that there was a young youth, me don't know if my try for run and hide under some sorts of vehicle, he did not make it. He was out to look like some sorts of head carnage. Now the sad thing about it, and when we hear stuff like this, is that the poor poor, they know what is going on, might not have intricate inside details, but they know that there are several gangs in the area, and these gangs have been going back and forth at it, like puss and dog, for years, maybe even a decade, maybe even more. The people that live in different communities, they know who the rivals are. They know which man they on such side and this side. Them know who take with this one and who get taken out in a some sort of reprisal for that one losing their life. However, until something like this happens, then nobody talks. Until it reaches their doorstep in a some sort of mass pie pie out then everybody are going to be mum. They are going to almost make it seem as if it is normal. They normalize this gang type of activity. However, I am sure with something like this to the vast majority of people getting caught up and eat at least, lose them life, more to fall out as soon as the day passes. Then you are going to hear everybody I say, them are going to call the poor poor. Them are going to tell the poor poor. Because based on information that I am getting, it is said that this is because of some sorts of reprisal for some sorts of incident that took place maybe a year or so ago. There's also word on the street that in a, that incident, a girlfriend for a Dan was con con up. Don't know if she lost her life. So therefore, this is a reprisal. And one thing that we've realized most of the time when we hear about these M.A.S.S. Pi Pi outs, it is always at some sorts of bar. It is always at some sorts of club, some sorts of party. And such is the case, this is said to be taking place at some sorts of birthday party. So people, it seems as if the same day of birth could also be the same day of D-E-A-T-H for someone as sad as it sounds. Now people like me say, the problem in this is that the poor poor knows who are the major players. However, sometimes these people appear of the popo because the popo in a Clarendon is said to be very, very corrupted. It is even said that sometimes they are picking side. So unless the JCF gets rid of the bad apples in a them place, and unless the people start to talk, then nothing is going to change. If you want change, you have to make sure that changes are made. So these people, until something like this happen, until a six-year-old get caught up and taken out. Until 18 people or so, at least eight confirmed thus far, lose them life, then nobody is going to say anything. But I am telling you, as of today, people are going to be talking because everybody know who do what and why. And this is possibly a next reprisal for a next reprisal that took place for a next reprisal. So therefore, it is tit for tat, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. 
until the poor poor put on them foot, this is always going to happen. Point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news is an update about a story that I spoke about yesterday as it pertains to a businessman from Grand Spen, Shortwood Road to be specific, his name is Dean Shaw. He was taken out at a plaza that he owns where he has some sorts of business establishment. Several businesses also rent there. From the information that I am getting, it is said that two people roll up on a bike, ski mask up. There was some sorts of conversation and after that conversation, he was conned up at least one time or so in the head. Pretty much he was D-E-A-D on the spot. He was probably rushed to the hospital where he was officially pronounced. Only a doctor can pronounce anybody. Now, when he lost his life, first we were saying a whole bunch of things. Word upon the streets. So this might have something to do with some sorts of big bust that took place in an even deal. Extortion, rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, bling. Based on information that I am getting now close to him is that this more than likely would be coming from some sorts of extortion. He is a type of person. He has been at that one location for in excess of 20 years. So he is what you would consider a pillar in the community. Now people, if you know anything about the extortion rules and laws and protocols, you can come from down at Tivoli, I want to go to Rima, I want to go to Spanish Town, and I extort nobody. It has to be coming from internal. However, you know, so sometimes you have top lane, bottom lane, two, set of, two different set of people want to extort one set of person, and they're going to tell you, say, no, you can't pay the man the away of a pay. We are the official extortionists. However, based on information that I am getting, it is said that this is not the type of man that you can tell about any sorts of extortion and people. I am not saying that he never elastic up and plastic up anything and get anybody, but it's if he feel like doing it. As a matter of fact, like I said, he was helpful in the community. He sent people to school. He do all sorts of things, keep all sorts of treat. He is somebody that people could have checked and say, you know, say, me look up at them school feed you. You know, say, when I have the money, he would always help. It is also said and confirmed that he is big in the motorsport thing. And people, you know, say, motorsport is not any sorts of cheap People setting a people with money that are mostly involved unless you have a passion and broke and just love it. In his case, it is said that he comes from a well-to-do family. Well, people, you know, say in Jamaica, when people say well-to-do family, that is what they know. Sometimes people live a double life. I am not saying that that is the case for his family. But people are saying, no, man. The man you don't have to do nothing. The man you need have zero need to be involved in any sorts of illegal activity. However, people, I am going to caution people. Don't mean because you are rich. That means that you know I get richer. Money is very addictive. And people always want more. There is one thing that you cannot have enough of. You can't have enough of poverty or hard life or stress. But you can never have enough of any sort of thing named money and success. People always want more. So I say this to say that people will still have and still do the wrong thing. Still have legitimate business and still do all sorts of illicit, illegal activity. Not going to say that this is the case in this man's case, but me just I say we have to be cautious when we say people don't need to do that or need to do that. Nobody needs to do anything that is wrong, but people still do it as a matter of fact. Most people are involved in some sorts of illegal activity. Facts. So it seems as if the people I contact him and him now and budge and then them come freely here. Him have to say this time. And I guess he did not say what they expected or wanted him to say. So therefore, they were going to send a strong message to the other business owners out there. Listen, if we can take what this man, which is a pillar in our community, everybody rates him except us. 
then the other people are going to get bummy. The other people are going to make sure, say, whenever they send them people and give them the bill, the bill has to be paid before it is past you or you might be past you in life. Now, people, this extortion thing did not just start yesterday, last week, last year, a decade ago. This has been in from JLP, PNP days, from the Dodos and the Zeeks. However, what would happen is that, and not to glorify them, at least you'd have some sorts of, what them call it, governship. That means eh, people are going to just come and blaze you up like that, take you away. However, with the new criminal elements out there, extortionists, where everybody is their own lone wolf, everybody is making their own money, nobody is taking any sorts of talk. So therefore, a man can do that so and just get presumptuous, pass a business place in an area that he knows nothing about, never lived there, not none at all. And I am not saying that it is not coming from internal, but I just said, this is exactly what is happening right now. The people them get beer face and brawling, so therefore them want extort people all over the place. So therefore, them go island-wide with the extortion. And we see with all the problems that is going on in a Spanish town, people are branched out to new zones. So therefore, they want to take over, hostile takeover, coup d'etat, extortion style. So them decide, say, if you not pay, you're going to pay with your life. And that might be the case as it pertains to this. And the sad thing is that this man, family like me say, wealthy. This man had the opportunity to go overseas. You know, say brown, rich people can go overseas because money talk, you can actually get a visa if you have enough money to invest in America. So therefore, a lot of them just set up some sorts of business as long as the business has X amount of dollars, thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, then you can qualify for some sorts of investment visa. That man have family member, meaning grandfather and thing that have American citizenship. So he could have easily left Jamaica. However, him love Jamaica, him love the culture, him love the music, him love everything about Jamaica. Plus, he played a very important part in the motorsport business. So therefore, he was not going to leave. He was comfortable. He was rich. With exception that he live among some set of people that are evil. People, it just shows you. No matter how much you help people, no matter how much good you do, you can lose your life even faster than the criminal elements that are out there. Now, this is my message to the poor poor. And the, fact, and the problem is that a lot of times, a lot of these poor poor, they themselves are extorting the extortionists. So therefore, they are not going to want to try to stop it because if and when them go and link the extortionists, which everybody knows, including the poor poor, they are going to get that thing elastic up and plastic up. But this is my recommendation to the good poor poor out there. If you want to stop this thing, you have to set up some sorts of sting. That means that the business owners who are tired of this BS and want to take a stand for the life of this man, Make the people them come to collect the money and then make the poor poor lay away them. The poor poor don't have to dress up like poor poor. Dress up like how them dress up when them go up and them take out mission. When you know say a poor poor do it, it is not gunman. When them go for any sorts of hot man and that hot man keep bucking the system through the courts. Them go for him dress up like some sorts of criminal elements. That is what they need to do. And when these people come, them just blaze them up. And even if them go out the house with them, them take out everybody, the dog, the puss, and everybody. Sounds a bit controversial, but like them say, desperate times cause for a desperate measure. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.